AirPods are about to get even better. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlive.com. And as part of the WWDC 2020 keynote, Apple announced new features coming to both AirPods and the AirPods Pro. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about how Apple is going to make your AirPods even better through software updates this fall. And if you wanna hear about all the other major news that Apple dropped, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now, the first three features apply to both models of AirPods, but if you have the AirPods Pro, you'll wanna stay tuned to the end for what might be the biggest update of all. All right, let's get started with the first major change, the first major feature, automatic device switching. One of the first things you'll notice when you set up new AirPods is that after pairing them to one of your devices, Apple will use iCloud to pair them to all of your other devices. So if you set up your AirPods with your iPhone, they're ready to be used with your Mac, iPod Touch, iPad, and Apple Watch with no additional setup. With iOS 14, this gets taken to the next level with a feature called automatic device switching. The feature will automatically switch which device is sending audio to your AirPods through your iCloud account. So for example, if you're listening to music on your iPhone and then start a video or Zoom call on your MacBook Air, the audio feed will automatically switch to the laptop without you having to manually make the switch in the audio settings. Not only will this work with AirPods Pro and second generation AirPods, but also PowerBeats, PowerBeats Pro, and Beats Solo Pro as well. Next up, let's talk about battery notifications. A very simple feature, but one that's gonna be welcome nonetheless. As part of iOS 14, now, when your AirPods start running low on battery, your devices will actively let you know when you need to charge up with a simple notification. It's one extra way to get ahead of charging before you hear the dreaded low battery audio tone within the AirPods themselves. Up next, let's talk about Apple TV audio sharing. Last year with iOS 13, Apple introduced audio sharing on iOS, which allows you to share the wireless audio from one iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to two separate sets of AirPods, AirPods Pro, or supported Beats headphones. Now that feature is coming to tvOS 14. This means that you and someone else can both watch a movie, show, or anything else on Apple TV with each of you wearing your own pair of AirPods. It's a nice feature if you wanna enjoy a movie while, say, the baby's sleeping. And again, all the features that I just mentioned apply to both the second generation AirPods and the AirPods Pro, but now let's talk AirPods Pro in particular. The big feature coming to AirPods Pro with iOS 14 is spatial audio support. If you're unaware, spatial audio basically allows sounds to seem like they're coming from anywhere in space. So things can sound like they're above you or behind you, etc. Apple is supporting Dolby Digital 5.1, 7.1, and they'll be at most with this feature. But of course, being Apple, they are going over the top with it. Apple is using the accelerometers and gyroscope in the AirPods Pro and the accelerometer and gyroscope in the iPhone or iPad that you're using. It then tracks the position of your head and of the device, compares the data against the two, and then remaps the sound field on the fly so that it stays anchored to you even as your device and head move around. Now that is the kind of feature that is so Apple. They're not just adding spatial audio support, but they're using all the other tech inside both the AirPods and your mobile iOS device to improve the sound field in a way that no other manufacturer can do. All right, lastly, for the AirPods Pro, there's the new Motion API. So everything that I just mentioned about Apple using the motion data of your phone and AirPods to anchor the sound field, developers will have access to that same data to integrate it into their own apps. And to be clear, it's the data, not the sound field. So they're gonna be able to use that data to make other sorts of experiences. This includes orientation of the devices, the user's acceleration, and even the rotational rates for the AirPods Pro. So imagine what developers of gaming and fitness apps, just for example, might be able to do with this. Now, Apple did also announce new headphone accommodations for AirPods as well, where they can now adjust frequencies for your specific hearing to make music, movies, phone calls, and more sound more clear. It also supports transparency mode on AirPods Pro, 
which will help quiet voices around you sound more audible while it tunes the sounds of your surrounding environment for your specific hearing needs. And I absolutely commend Apple for all the work they continue to do to make their products accessible to all. Now again, I'll have more coverage of all the major news that Apple didn't tell you at WWDC coming up in my next video.